Um. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh. Hey. What's up? Holy shit. Hi. Uh, uh, hi. Uh, that, this, wow. Yeah. <laughs> what the? What the? Fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Professional. <laughs> <laughs> I was good until you did that. <laughs> I don't think I've been processing it all day. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is what I said. Wow. Uh. Wow. <laughs> uh, I wasn't preparing to be on camera. Yeah. <laughs> I, that wasn't how it was supposed to go. I was was it? I don't know. Was it? <laughs> I think it was. Uh, wow, hey guys. guys. <laughs> what I mean? What uh. can you? What can you say? We uh. we love you. <laughs> you guys are so incredible. What a what a day for us. Uh. We clearly didn't ex- expect uh, any of that. That yeah, fast? Uh, yeah, we not de- like that. We definitely tempered no. our expectations. Um, I think we, we planned this a, thing for several yeah. months. D- yeah, no. Like yeah, meetings we went into this and shit. We had the we had a poll going. Uh huh. To if we would uh, make our goal in like the first week or twenty four hours or so. Or, you know, weeks end of the thing. Like we were yeah, hoping. Yeah, like forty five day uh, campaign. <sighs> So, uh, thank you guys. <laughs> There's the end. Yeah, we are we are uh. blown away. Uh, I've been in shell shock all day. Yep. This has been a, like, it's just been numb. Yep. I think my, <laughs> my phone's at 3% and I just keep charging it to like 29%. It's back down to 3%. Yeah. Uh, so thank you guys for everything, for, all, for your support in this. And um, I, I, am, I am like just a, just a, a thankful battery right now, so I, yeah. I, I will I will happily not repeat myself over and over again. We might, we might, we, we might, might, probably. Yeah, we might. Thankful um, battery, just a energizer, energizer bunny, sure, we'll that. Um, pink fluffy bunny of I like love. Your, I like your bunny. It's, it's just how it goes, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, uh, so, thanks, uh, so we have we have a Kickstarter. Um, and the animated you, special. Want yeah. to call your attention to it? If you make your way over to Kickstarter.com. Oh God, this was supposed to be different. We're like, hey guys, our Kickstarter's out. If you missed it, you should, you should go check it out. Get on over there. Trying to raise that money. We love cartoons. So we bet you do too. <laughs> it's so hard when you're not prepared. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Professional. Should we should we just should we talk about like should we talk about like where this how this even started? Yeah, like, let's give some let's know, give some, some backstory context. to this, sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's try, try and bring this into an actual thing that you guys would be interested in watching. Right. So our, uh, our show started in 2015. Uh, the streaming part the streaming of the show. Part of yeah. It, yeah, right. And we had played for years previous to that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I believe the first time that we ever, ever had even the inkling of, of a thought to pursue something animated was in 2016. And that was just the most ridiculous fucking idea any of us had ever uttered aloud. I mean, we, we, we joked about it even in our home game, like at the end of sequences, we'd be like, oh man, I can envision this whole, you know, this whole battle like it was an yep. animated show, but it was yep. always like in that, like like anyone who's Dream. played D&D, you've had those fights where you're like, you know, man, I can see it in my head, and that would, this would look really cool animated. But it wasn't until then that we were like, "Well, uh, let's let's yeah, let's what what, what could it hurt? Why not? What could yeah. it hurt? At the very at the very least, people will say no. Right? We're like these characters look amazing. The storylines are great. We're all a bunch of voice actors. This is a no-brainer. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. What do we know about making cartoons? Not much at the time. 
Fast forward 2019, we know a little bit more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So we, we, over the years, we, we talked about ideas, we talked about um, potential pitches and, 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 and script ideas. Uh, and I think it was last year that we really went around and started pitching this to different, um, you know, distribution uh, houses. And, and uh, sometimes we were met with uh, excitement. People were saying, you know, like, oh man, this is amazing. It's such a big audience for, for D and D. Is it a is it a podcast? And we we're like, no. I mean, it is available yeah, kind of. in a podcast yeah. form. Yes, but it is a it's a live stream on Twitch. And sometimes we got the Twitch. Yeah. And we we're like, no, it's it's a it's a thing. It's a real thing. And they were like, great. It's an improvised show. And we were like, the sh yes, the live stream is. And they were like, so the cartoon will be improvised. And we we're like, no, 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 mm. no. Gonna have a script that we will read and record. Um, so I think a lot of it was just understanding that in the same way that Critical Role has been such a surprise to all of us for years now, yeah. it was just that taking its own turn going through that sort of a gauntlet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's I mean, a lot to explain. Yeah. It's like and a it wasn't tiramisu unexpected. of confusion. Yeah, we need that going <laughs> in the day. It's gonna be so many layers. It was gonna be a challenge. <laughs> um, yeah. And yeah, when it, when it all came down to it, it was like, it, we did not want this to be done unless it was done right. Mm -hmm. You know, we'd rather have no animated show than have one that was, you know, not the level of quality we wanted it to be to really do justice to both the stories that we told, you know, with each other and with the community out there. And so we kind of, we were thought, well, I guess it's not going to happen. Right. You know, we were like, I, well, we give it a shot. This is this is how the industry works, and uh, mm -hmm. we'll just concentrate our efforts on other things. And then, um, and the conversation got up, like, well, the, the community keeps asking about this at panels and stuff, and <laughs> yeah. there there seems to be interest out there. It's so, would a, would a crowdfunding thing be viable? I've had I've had not great uh, experience in the past, like crowdfunding my own web series project years ago. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it was it was it wasn't a bad experience, but it was it was a lot. And it was a it was a heavy endeavor on a very small group of people, and um, it's great people involved. But it was a lot of lessons learned, and I was like very reticent. Mm -hmm. But uh, but we talked about it, and we tried to think of what would what would make the most sense to really kind of give this a shot. Yeah, I mean, and we kind of then like tested the waters first with the D and D Beyond ad. And oh my God, everyone yes. loved that so much, and then we were kind of like, well, what would happen if we? Did our own animated intro and see what happened, and then that kind of pushed the needle a little bit further. Yeah, I think like the end of 2017, we started to really, really focus in <laughs> on going, okay, we're gonna make these pitches, and then the D and D Beyond animation happened, and we got that first taste of it, mm. yeah. and the fires were fucking lit. Like yeah. any <laughs> burner that wasn't turned on all the way was. Fully ignited. I don't know if it was Sam's falsetto and those fucking harmonies, or I mean, if it was that amazing <laughs> animation. Ninety percent of it. I mean, we got Cammy and Kevin, Ario Pagita, you guys, man, it was just the the first step. And thank you to D and D Beyond for making mm -hmm. for letting that happen. Yeah, and that really pushed it forward, We're and taking, it just jumped from there to wanting yeah. to do. Taking one of Sam's random. Yep. Opening ads. Yep. yep. And animating that, it. That's kind of the, the nature of everything we do now. This whole thing, this whole space, all this it's all been like, oh man, it'd be funny if we did this. Yep. And then and then just roll with it. And I don't know, I'm I'm very proud that we've been able to kind of stick to this idea of are we are we interested and passionate about making something good for ourselves? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it and hope that the audience will yes. find it. And yes. uh and you guys have been nothing but absolute proof of, of that. Your your positivity, your support of, of each other. This there is no community like this I've ever yeah. experienced in fandom, and in 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 pop culture. Period. Uh, than this 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 wonderful community, and not just critters, just the tabletop gaming community in general. Like what it what it's becoming with each passing year is something that I'm so proud to be a part of. And today, I mean, I, I, I yeah. We're, yep. all, we're all just blown away. Yep. I've, I'm finding the words is so hard to, to express all, this. All day, all day, every day. Um, wow, okay, so 
This is a and a Yeah, we should probably oh, yeah. answer some questions about huh? it, right? I'm sure there <laughs> yeah. are a multitude of things. We have, we have chat up. <laughs> it, it looks like the Matrix, so we'll... <laughs> yeah. We'll do our best. We'll, yeah, we'll do what we can. <laughs> we'll get to uh, chat questions here in just a minute, but there have been a lot of frequently asked questions that have come through on the Kickstarter. So we're going to kind of cover those first and get the big ones out of the way. First and foremost being, will the animated special be kid-friendly? Right. Uh, so our animated special is most certainly <laughs> aimed towards adults, just like our show kind of is, you know. A little bit of language, a little bit of violence, a little bit of sex if we're lucky. Um, <laughs> and Danny Carr. Thank you. <laughs> Bless you, Danny. I, we do it for you. I will flirt with Jester this week just for you. Um, so. I think probably the best, the best way to say it is you might want to watch it first and then decide if it's appropriate for the little ones in your life, right? But um, yeah, I would say it's geared towards adults. We're trying to, we're trying to make the show as true to the, the show and the characters that we know and love just in the way that we hope would, would make you happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, so another, one of the questions we had uh, from people who haven't actually listened to or watched Critical Role if they'll be able to enjoy the story. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. A, a big part of what we want to do with with this initial story is to make it a good entry point for anyone who isn't you know familiar with the stream initially. Uh, we want it to be uh, take place before the streaming game, but mm -hmm. after the home game essentially had hit the end transition. There there was a period of time, a six month break period, uh, where Vox Machina had kind of scattered a bit after they had saved Uriel Taldore. Uh, from the you know the, the scourge and Pike had died and been brought back and oh, and they were you know essentially given a small parade and that that was kind of where the the home story ended, a six month gap in the in the in game narrative in world narrative and then we kicked up with the stream beginning so it'll take sure. place in that little pocket there, um, so that's that's kind of where we're starting and we want it to be a place for people who. Uh, have watched and been along with it the whole time can be like, oh my god, this is a part of the story. I get to see it's also fresh but familiar. And for people that have never seen it can jump in and be like, oh, okay, I, I get it. I, I'm getting to see these characters and be introduced to them in a very uh, natural way, and I'm on board. So yeah. that's the plan. Totally original. It doesn't matter if you've read Game of Thrones, you will not know what the yeah. story will entail. And that's, <laughs> that's the thing, right? You want your media consumable in many different ways. So we're trying to kind of just take critical role in what we've done, and we've done it with the, just like the comic book, you could read the comic book without have watched the show. Same thing for for this situation. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, we also have, a, when can I watch The Legend of Vox Machina? Uh, so we are happy to say that, of course, all Kickstarter backers will be the first to watch the animated special, but right now we're kind of considering a bunch of different possibilities. It's, we didn't expect day one to be like this. So yeah. there are uh, many avenues that we are exploring, but we promise we will be sure to keep everyone posted along the way. It is uh, catching us by surprise, as we have said a hundred times. We will say it a hundred more before the hour is done. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'd say this is, a, this is a nice microcosm example of kind of the critical role trajectory from the beginning. We've been, <laughs> we've been playing catch up since the beginning. None, none of us expected any of this, each step of the way, and we're constantly trying to 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 get caught up with the momentum and, and do it as much justice as we can for you guys. And this is obviously no exception. Is it too yeah. cheesy to have like a ketchup bottle as a, some sort of a sub mascot of Critical Role? Yes, that's pushing it. Too far. <laughs> I'm I'm a Pulp Fiction fan. Okay. <laughs> uh, you want to get this next one? Uh, yeah, next question that we've been hearing quite a lot is, will the animated special includes, include closed captions and what about translations? Uh, yes and yes. We will have more info on that to share about translations in the coming months as, you know, in terms of what languages. Um, but yeah, we're, um, that will be coming Soon. Yes. We, we have a, a, I mean, our community is very much a worldwide community. We want to make it as accessible as possible on a worldwide scale. So we'll have information as it comes. Yeah. 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 Uh, we had a question about uh, will the one shots that were in our stretch goals, the search for Bob, <laughs> Vox Machina Summer Vacation, oh uh, and of course, my personal favorite, Vox Machina <laughs> meets the Mighty Nine, uh, will yeah. they be available exclusively for backers? 
No! The one shots will be available to view for everyone! Everyone! Backers and non backers alike. It is just a special thank you from us to you, everyone, for all of their support over the years. We love the one shots. We know you guys do too. It was just an excuse for us to do more of them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. honestly. Yeah, I, I remember. We're gonna have to come in more. Yeah. I, I remember our oh. final episode uh, of the first campaign. There was this kind of. Uh, I don't know, lingering sadness, the idea that maybe we'd never get a chance to see these characters again. I know. And I know. like the one shot with Grog was such a beautiful homecoming to that. And now through this, it's now like, oh my god, we, we, we don't have to entirely say goodbye. We get to see them in this animated special. We get to do these little one shots and you know, it's it's like the comfort food yeah. Of, yeah. of story that I'm that I'm really looking forward to. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy, man! I thought I thought we would like you know string out those one shots over the next month or so. I didn't think they would just all be done. They don't, like yeah, that. yeah. Guess I was right, them all. That, yeah. That, that said, uh, <laughs> gotta, gotta we, produce those things. Now. It is only the first day. Yeah. By by no means is this uh, campaign done. We are um, we are scrambling to adjust. I know that we are all out of stretch goals. We are uh, putting our heads together as quickly as possible. We will be coming up with something very shortly. We want to try and um, essentially make as much animation for you guys as we possibly can. Uh, so we are going to uh, <laughs> we're going to get together and burn the midnight oil and just go for it because this is this is all that we've wanted for for a couple of years, like just our our loftiest pipe dream, and so. The more that you guys support us, the more that we want to make. And man, we have some amazing, as you know, Vox Machina stories to tell. And put to animation at the highest level yeah. is just going to be And I, I think it's yeah. that too, going off of what you were talking about, about the level, is when we were going into this, we were very particular and diligent about the quality of animation yeah. that we wanted this to be. Um, because there are, you know, plenty of offers out there for cheaper versions and, uh, you know, versions with no fighting. Because fight sequences are a lot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but once again, it just kind of harkened back to just not being Vox Machina and not being what we wanted it to be. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it, it, the quality is important to yeah. us. I and, think it's important to say also that I know a lot of people probably had that. Um, you know, sticker shock moment of like, oh my God, seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars for a half hour episode? That seems that seems crazy. Um, we we thought that if we were going to push for this thing, if we were going to do a, a Kickstarter with you guys to support, that we should make it as amazing as possible. Like Marisha said, there is some animation that is around like the five hundred thousand dollar tier. Um, probably some shows that you that you know, but normally that means that there are other relationships behind the scenes, other contracts that are being, you know, worked out, and it's all sort of a package deal with larger, you know, entertainment conglomerates, and that can kind of bring the price down. We just little guys. We, yeah, we're, we do it for the first time. We're a tiny little independent yeah. company trying to make this happen, so. Yeah, and we thought, you know, for us, the intros were were such magic, and, and, and everything that we saw in them was so beautiful, and we cried over them just as much as you guys did. That we were like, <laughs> do we want quality or do we want quantity? And to me, really seeing beautiful animation on a shorter scale with the money that you guys have have sent us is just going to be, to me, more rewarding than if we cranked out a bunch of small sort of, you know, subpar yeah. episodes. So that it, that was something we all decided pretty early on. I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be updating the search goals as soon as we get them. But I mean, suffice to say, the better this Kickstarter does, the, the more animated elements we'll be able to do. Yeah. I mean, the sky's the limit at this point. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just we'll just keep making more and more stories for as much as, as this continues to yeah. grow. I mean, it, we'll keep going and then hopefully somebody like Comics or, you know, some other um, animation house would be like, you know what? We should make more of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should give them all those seasons that they want. Uh, speaking <sighs> of crying at this thing, we actually saw the finished version it came in the night of our art show oh, that's right uh so that was incredible we yeah, all got the like intro. the that, intro that yeah see as part of the kickstarter mm -hmm. uh further adding to the emotional tidal wave that was <sighs> Such great that evening it's been an emotional year so far <laughs> yeah like oh my god yeah. 
insane. I'm sh I, I'm pretty sure I look like a zombie right now. I'm still oh, I'm oh, still yeah. processing I all I this. This has been crazy. I yeah. didn't I wasn't anticipating being on camera today. This story just happened. So we have questions yeah. um, right. <laughs> from the chat. Uh, well, that one we kind of already answered. Eh, hang on. Um, ooh, from Kerry Sokin. Will the Kickstarter stay for the 45 days? I can't donate now, but I could in a week or two. And the answer is yes. Yeah, it'll be there the whole run. Yeah. Yeah, we're not stopping. I mean, <laughs> you know, Critter's got pride. We gotta see how high this rocket ship's gonna fly. I don't even know anymore. Man. I mean, I, f I feel like we oh, insulted our own fans by like going, here are our stretch goals. And they're like, yeah. fuck your stretch goals. <laughs> Why don't you have more stretch goals? Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We didn't so think we were gonna get to those. No, we don't. We just have pragmatic goals. Our name is Legion. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, this is a lesson very learned. <laughs> we're, uh, we're sensitive artist actor types. We, uh, we've we been trained to set our expectations deeply low. Yeah, I mean, man. Uh, um, this is crazy. From Saros Animosity, uh -huh. when considering NPCs of different genders, Alora, Lady Kima, etc., are they going to be voiced by Matt or will there be others bought in to voice these parts? All by Matt Gavel. No, no. Um, <laughs> there, there are like a handful of characters that are very special to me uh, that, I'm, that I might want to portray. Like, I, I mean, Gilmore feels is very personal to me, so if he ever makes an appearance, I'd want, I'd want that, that um, unless people are really out, uh, outraged by that, in which case we'll see. Um, there's a weird contentious element as you know me oh, sure. playing yeah. pe playing a person of color, oh, but, um, but he's, so he's excellent. But we'll see, him. we'll see when we get to it. Um, but honestly, I'm more excited to cast the characters that I've portrayed and find people that can do an incredible job for me. Um, I I want I want this to feel as lively and diverse as possible, and in that case, much like Taldore and Alexandria is a lively and diverse place to bring in people to. Exemplify and perform all walks of life, all backgrounds, and uh, I'm genuinely super stoked to be part of the process of finding the right people and the right voices to portray these characters that you know at one point only existed up here. That's yeah, so crazy to me. Yeah, um, I, I already have some ideas. Mm -hmm. I think they're. I think there are a lot of votes in the affirmative. Well, well, yeah, I'd like, I'd like, <laughs> I'd like to. It's just I, like, he's, I'm, I'm he's gonna, like, he's I, like I, the I, one. I, he's yeah. my boy. He's your boy. He's, boy. he's so fat. And I've already seen the sketches. You guys saw a little bit in the Kickstarter. It, like even just seeing other artist renditions as we were like testing out what different NPCs would look like. I was just, mm -hmm. just seeing <laughs> seeing Gilmore in his various conceptual stages. I yeah, was like, oh my god. It's hilarious to me that we were like, this is a 45 day campaign. Here are our stretch goals. We've got stuff planned for like. End of this week, end of next week, we've got stuff coming out at Emerald City Comic Con. Like all of these exclusive reveals, y'all are just gonna have to wait for. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we couldn't, we're not dropping them today. We yeah. might as well stay Everyone. with the plan, right? Yeah, so there's there's cool stuff coming. Yeah. You guys are just amazing. Yeah. This is, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> My brain. <laughs> I have this like was. this, is it. this yeah. tingling in the front of my forehead that's just been here. Yeah, I mean the um, capability that we have to, to to bring in a lot of our friends who are voice actors, mm -hmm. people who you've seen on the show as guests to come in another play. Oh, you know, yeah. down the road possibly their characters or or other NPCs to bring the life. Like you know, yes. I mean if if we ever ended up going in a long form and like Jared showed up, I'd love to have like Kari or someone come in and take oh, his role. Like I have all these ideas of. You know, just bringing in our friends and then reaching out to other actors that we've either worked with in other projects that we could bring into this fold, or actors that we haven't worked with that were just fans of their work that would be perfect for the specific roles. I really need I think Stephen just... Colbert. I need a Stephen Colbert. Oh, I, I, I mean, I don't need. I, think oh. need yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying. Just needs to be there. He could be a great like Uriel Taldore or something. Yeah. I mean, I'll put I'll put Stephen Colbert in anywhere. Period. <laughs> and, he, and while he's in town, I'll run a game for him. <laughs> That's <laughs> literally oh, no. literally life goal. We will do anything. Man, we will do anything. Um, Ozzy Bat has a question. Ozzy Bat. When planning your partners, Titmouse and Moreau, et cetera, what prompted you to choose them? Had you had personal work experience with them before, or was it by observing their work? A little bit of both. Yeah, uh, Sam has worked with Titmouse a ton. Uh, been been fortunate enough to record over at their studios a few times, uh, and just love their stuff. They just have the best 
attitude and approach towards animation. Uh, Chris Pranoski, we took one meeting with him, and I think we got five minutes in before he was like, so you guys, I've been playing fucking D&D for like 20, 20, 30 years, man. I like, yeah. <laughs> that's my, my crispy impression. Well, as, as soon as we got in that room and he had like posters in the background yeah. of older modules and shit, I was like, okay, we're, we might be in the right space so here. Like I've heard about him because he goes to Gary Con every year. He's like right? he's like old school D and D guy. And oh, you see going Lin Manuel. Oh yeah, of course I'm gonna have Lin. Are yeah, you yeah, kidding yeah, me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, it's like like Chris was already just somebody who was who was punctual for that. But but uh, Titmouse, who I've been a fan of their animation for mm. I mean, since Middle Apocalypse days, mm-hmm. and uh, and seeing the diversity of styles that they've been able to accomplish and the quality they can get out. I mean, even just looking at all their Look at all their Blizzard animation shorts they did uh, oh, to get to get an idea so of what we want to do with the Vox Machina did, series. They did Korra. Yep. They did so Korra. I mean, they crush it on, just... on on Big Mouth for Netflix. I mean, the yeah. the stuff that they work on is just a testament to so the good. like like you said the range of their ability to interpret different art. It's just staggering, and the fact that they're here in LA is just like a big plus. Yeah. Right. So it was the combination yeah. of all those facets of them being super good at what they do. Being super invested in the same things we are, and you know, it was it was too perfect. Yeah, and not and they are not just in L.A. They're in L.A. They're in Vancouver. They're in New York. They are, they are spread throughout. Um, <laughs> yeah. I see a lot of love for the McElroys in the chat. Oh, don't think I haven't thought of that too, motherfuckers. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like, like this, it. This thing, if, if this keeps going in the next forty-five days, I hope to have a lot of places <laughs> that we can fit in all of our friends and little. Little spots and 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 have little little hidden surprises. So yeah, I wish we I just had, I just wish we had more characters. Man, oh, yeah. it's like there's not 350 to choose from. It's oh, crazy. Oh, we just need to get enough episodes to introduce more characters. Yeah, oh, we'll work on that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, I see a lot of people saying it looks like uh, the Critter Hug of Death infected the Titmouse website. Oops. So sorry, Titmouse. Sorry, Titmouse. Um, or not sorry? Not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like a badge of honor now. Yeah. Right? Like a oh. gesture tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh man. They're like, we are a functioning business. We need our website, you dicks. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a valid point. Sorry, probably, guys. Probably We're really too. sorry. Um, yeah. let's see. Trophy scars, eighty nine. Oh yes. Oh, oh right, oh, Merle. Jen, yes. Yeah. No, in the same sorry, question. Thank He's bringing you. that back. Yeah. Jen, we've known for a while. Yes, yeah. she's she's yeah. been a, a friend for many years. Fellow she's nerd, fellow nerd. Like the first time we met, we nerded out at a party for like an hour and a half about Dungeons and Dragons and oh, our yeah. old home campaigns and stuff. This is she would before have, like, the stream. Game of Thrones watch parties. Oh, yeah. the parties. Yeah, she, ha- she has she a little those spreads. She has an archery mm-hmm. set up in her backyard. <laughs> yeah, you know, like a, like an adult does. Like she's. She's our people. That was where course, like, Ashley shot the gnome right through its face, yeah. and then we realized that Ashley is a registered deadly weapon. That's right, garden yeah. gnome, garden gnome, no gnomes were harmed. Oh in the yeah, sorry, of garden gnome. gnome. Yeah. Um, and this was real life, not D and D. It was amazing. She had drinks awesome. that were like healing, po- healing potion drinks, right? Yeah. yeah. They were like yeah. themed after the most yes. recent critical Jen's role. Legit. She's yeah. great. Um, so not only is she a long friend, she actually she played in uh, in yep. uh, like Will and Mary's home D and D campaign. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's She's incredible. On top of that, she's an incredibly talented writer, and she has an, uh, many, 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 many years of incredible uh, work that she's done on across many different animated shows, and mm-hmm. it was just kind of a perfect union of, well, if we're gonna do this, let's do it with someone who we know we like, that we know we can work with, that understands our show, has yeah. watched a lot of it, knows the characters well, and is genuinely as excited about this nerd shit as we are, so yeah. it, was, it was perfect. Super sweet aspect of all this is that we actually get to choose those things. So nice. Yeah. So nice. Yeah, that's a big part of this. Is, yeah. is we, we get to do this, right? Yep. And with people who want to do it. Yeah. People who are stoked to do you it. You don't get any really. It's like what's, what's D D. Yeah. Okay. I what, guess. Uh, um. Is that a good? That was terrible, right? No, that was good. D <laughs> D. Get out of here, that Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Impersonation. Uh, Trophy Scars eighty nine says, <laughs> "When will production start, and will we get behind the scenes specials on recording sessions?" Oh yes! Oh my gosh, yes! Uh, yeah, we we plan to go BTS hard. Um, so everything from early story summit, writing room stuff, uh, recording sessions, animation, 
uh, special so you can see sort of how it how it works and the different processes that, that they go through. I mean, Tim Mouse has really been fantastic about just opening their doors and letting us kind of be involved in, in every little piece of the, the machine, right? We get to see everything from storyboards to background artists to animators to, I mean, pretty pretty much everything. And as we were doing it, just being fans of animation, I mean, I, I started to ask, like, can we, can we make this part of, like, the Kickstarter or the rewards? Like, as we're going on, they were like, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. They're just super chill. They're great. I mean, and this is something that, this isn't something we're making. This is something we're we're making, mm -hmm. and as as part of part of that process, uh, we want to make sure that we include you guys in that process as much as possible without like spoiling too much of the actual final product. Um, but yeah, we're we want to share in this excitement with you because yeah. every it isn't just like we'll show you behind the scenes. Like, do you guys want to see some behind the scenes? Because yeah. this is crazy. Like, we're <laughs> we're all as. As giddy as, as you are about this, we want to share as much as possible. They've been having the same through. reaction today that, that we have. Like uh, the 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 texts from Chris and everybody else at Tipmouse uh, was at like, Tipmouse. "What the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, what the hell, man? <laughs> yeah, we actually we got some great like we got some cool interviews and stuff that you guys will see later from yeah. some, from yeah. some uh, sweet some folks over stuff. at Tipmouse. The, the BTS has already been happening. Yep. 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 It's already sour to there. It's only gonna get better. Yeah. Only gonna be better. Uh, there. Did I see um, three point million hype? There's what? Oh, we, had three point uh, we had three point five. Oh, cool. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> uh, what is happening? No, 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 Expected this. Been oh, here. Put your hand down. This. Slow zoom. Been here before. Act as if. <laughs> Boiler room <laughs> monologue. <laughs> I'm out. <clears throat> cool. <sighs> what else you got What's there, all, Marisha? What else is there, Marisha? What you got? Uh, we have <laughs> uh, a few questions. I'm gonna kind of combine it into one. Okay, one from. Okay. Prime Denise Cheese It, one from Sanjay99, um, kind of uh, asking what the input and involvement of the cast and Matt will have in terms of writing and storyline, et cetera, et cetera, and development. Very, a, a lot of involvement. Lot. Um, Sam and I are, are leading the charge on this, and it's so important to have the man that built the entire world there every step of the way. It's also important that we make sure that Matt has some sort of a life and brain activity and that he is not snuffed out by all of the, the different <laughs> things that he does and creates every week. Um, so it's been amazing working with Jen, Having Sam work on it, Matt, and everybody just come together and create this new original thing, and then also just entertaining. Hmm, what comes? What comes after that? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I get a lot of uh, a lot of texts. Um, like we'll have we'll have creative meetings, and we'll beat out kind of the the overarching story, and you know what characters and what what beats you want to hit, and the structure, and then Sam and. Jen will, and you know, you guys will run with it for a bit, and he'll check in with me to check on continuity yep. and world lore, yep. and can this happen? I'm like, nah, I can't, because this, and they're like, well, what about this? I'm like, ah, this possible, maybe with this ability, and it's just this awesome kind of creative back and forth, and it feels weird to be in that situation. It does. It We're does. like, I'm having to like it answer does. lore questions to a, a creative team. <laughs> Yeah. About, about the, the world, world that I made up for you guys. Yeah. Like this is weird. And it's not. And it's not um, just the writing either. It's also like the character design, the the background elements, the design of worlds that we have seen in our own mind's eye and fan art, and really going like, what what's the what's the one that we want to pick? Like what's yeah. the one that really rings the truest? Yeah. Us? So much. So much. Uh, that that is one of the unique challenges of this. Is so much of our story has been this amorphous. You know, exists uniquely in each person's imagination. Yeah. It's trying to consolidate as much of that as possible to bring it to what could be a single unified interpretation of that. And I say interpretation because in the long run, you know, even though this would be an official animated project, it doesn't discount anybody's interpretation or creative idea of, of what these stories are. Um, but we just want to do the best we can to make the best version of it we possibly can. Yes. I saw something in the chat that said, will there be a Scanlan animated number? I mean, a musical, musical number. number. <laughs> oh, musical episode. It's like Buffy. Anything's possible, you guys. Yeah, I don't, Anything's possible. Once again, 
I Clearly. guess it depends on how many. Uh, yeah. Let's let's keep how going. many we'll of those out. goals Someone we asked, had. Can Brian Foster voice a character? No, we're not letting that no. asshole in. No, he's not part no. of this. His Can parole we, um, strictly forbids it. It's actually, yeah, it's a legal ramification. You know, in Avatar, how there was the cabbage vendor? Maybe he could just be a cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh my god. Can we, since it is, can, can just we, calling can, it out. Can we have just our own MOS. version of the cabbage, cabbage vendor, but it is Brian? Just Brian. Get your cabbage. That's yeah. kind of amazing. <laughs> what are you selling? <laughs> cabbage. <laughs> I'm all about this. Yeah, this is the kind Sorry. of cartoon we're going to make. What a bunch Sorry. of ass hats. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but that's always it's all been a bunch of ass hats, though. Yeah. That's kind of the draw, I like to think. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a fine fellow. Oh, hello, fine fellow. Asks. The special, the special will be canonical, yeah, but is it based off of an adventure that actually occurred? This is actually, it's, no, it's, it's wholly unique. This was, it's based on lore and elements that exist in the world, uh, and elements of it are actually, not, not based on, but roughly tied to one of the plot hooks in the Taldora campaign setting. Um, that we get to explore an aspect of that more and, and tie it into the Vox Machina lore in between. Yeah. So it is a wholly unique story. It was not a home game thing that was that you know that was revealed. Then we're you know we're exploring those through the comic book. Um, so this is going to be something wholly new for both yeah. you guys and us, which is oh, exciting. Man. I'm looking the at the wrong of, camera. I get to figure the, the lights thing. The amount of people so that are going to be pouring through the Taldori campaign guide and I going, wait, wait, which, which, which page? I which know, page I know. are you talking about? What, 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 what? Let's lay down bets. Which one? <laughs> uh-huh. Let the let the the bets the begin. The pool. Yeah. Um, yeah, we are, the, however, pulling from that moment in time because yeah. we all did like deep sit down interviews about where we were coming back from mm-hmm. and what was happening and what had just happened. Yeah. And this is the, this is this is gonna be Vox Machina fresh off of their most recent our walkabouts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like like you know, fresh off them having this this major heroic moment and then kind of deciding to go do their own thing for a while and then kind of coming back from that. Um, and it's it's pre stream of course so you know, it's going to be before any of the romances have, have developed necessarily. It's going to be them in that, like, okay, I guess we're heroes now. Is that yeah, right? Is that what we are? What does that mean? That 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 there's elements of that we're hoping to explore in this, and right. and yeah, it'll be it'll be fun. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, this is a fun one from Ashmolion. Ashmolion. <laughs> Matt, this is your world. Aside from the characters, what piece of the world would you be most excited to see animated? Oh man! Uh, outside of this episode, like or this 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 special, what would I love to see animated? Oh man! Um, I would love to see the Briarwood arc animated. I, I would love to see, uh, yeah, Weissman in general. I would love to see. Um, Fire elements of flame. Oh my God! Yeah, the city of brass yeah, would be incredible. That would be amazing. City of dis. I mean, uh, the whole like ascension to the final battle and Tharam Fala. The camp. Like, there's there's oh. so many moments that I just I, just to see animated would blow my fucking the mind. The conclave attack on. Oh, on Oh, yeah, that was like oh. that. That made my brain short out just in the game, just to yes. see those dragons attack. Uh, yeah. Yes, please. <clears throat> that was high. It would be hard to relive that, though. So many people died. It was so sad. (laughs) (laughs) We're gonna have mortal love and stunning animation. (laughs) Hey, man. It was was a rough rough, rough time for Amon, then. Uh, Will Grog have a beard? No, no, this is like level seven. There is no no Grog beard yet. Yeah. Grog beard doesn't happen oh till uh, like till Craghammer. Yeah. Half a Goliath, half a man. That was the best part when we get, got the, the, the art back from, from the artists originally. We got the, the Grog art tests from uh, our, our designers at Tim Mouse, and they put the beard on there because that's what a lot of the art was. I'm like, we have to take the beard off because he doesn't have it yet. Yep. And they were like, seriously? I'm like, I know, I know, but, but it's okay. It's the origin story. We'll earn the beard one day, maybe. Yeah. If all this does well, we'll earn the beard. <laughs> I was like, we can just we just remember like later in the story. It's art imitating life. <laughs> we can change it. Alternate timeline. Alternate timeline. <laughs> yeah, shout out to JoJo Park for amazing, the yeah. amazing character designs. Yeah. Oh, so so cool. Uh, tweaks on already amazing looks for Vox Machina, and we were just thrilled with all of them. Oh, and so much, so much more to come. It's so crazy. Still uh, a work in progress. 
<sighs> uh, question: How cute will Trinket be? That's very. It's I mean, also so a good cute, one. cute and ferocious, like a bear. Both. Yeah. Um, I mean, no armor for Trinket yet. No, no oh, bullet armor. No, 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 yeah. I didn't have. I don't have. Maybe like a harness or something. You know, yeah. like like some like a, like a travel pack. Yeah, like he he still carries things and is is a a, a functional you know, bear. traveling bear <laughs> for a ranger. It's he's a functional still, bear. He's still Hashtag a functional, functional bear. bear. Uh huh. There you go. <laughs> oh man. You would think that. Uh, Deep Bradley Baker was for here. trinket. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'd be down for that. Sure. Yes. Yeah, could, we're going to have could. auditions for a bear. Yeah. <laughs> you don't audition for a bear. We just get Fred and Dee, one of the two. We're having we're fucking both. auditions, and we're filming them, and we're going to rub those actors through the mud. There we go. When we hit a certain milestone in the Kickstarter, we'll hold our bear auditions and <laughs> put up the videos for you guys. <laughs> we're going to break a pool stick. Yeah. Give me Trinket <laughs> confused. Give me Trinket after oh. too much seafood. Give me Trinket with... <laughs> like, what? What? It's a bear. Oh, oh, I can't wait for this. I'm gonna be excited. <laughs> for drinking. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, uh, what what else? What else can we? I know, what else can we answer? It's moving so fast. It hasn't even it's, been 12 um, hours in the campaign, and already we're. Why is it 3.5? Oh. Oh. What? Is it Whoa. now 3.5 hype? I'm so confused. I thought it happened already. I don't I even know. Oh, I think they were hyped for it, and now they're now it hit it. Oh, now, now, it it now it's official. Oh, Guys, this man. is crazy. Oh, sorry for this the is crazy. Early this is so crazy. Excitement. This is so crazy. This is I saw crazy. someone ask if we would be able to sleep tonight. This is crazy. I don't think so. No, no, I don't. I have, I have so much like I have weird energy. I do. Does that make too. sense? Like no. it's just all this, all this energy in my body. I'm just like, uh, I don't know where to put it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I was talking. So, our, shout out to our amazing staff, Rachel. Ed, yes. Oh man. Danny, Lockie, Max, everybody that has put yes. in so much work in this are amazing. Editors, oh, our Aaron, art director, Aaron, yeah, Tall. Art director Aaron for drawing, Christina, designing the graphics. Uh, yes. Tall, Danny. editor Tall. Danny, for every, every, us. so yeah. many people, like, like uh, I, the, the, the family being able to grow here, you know, is, is, I'm so thankful. Everyone's been busting their ass to make this channel, to, yeah. to make every, all these crazy things we want to <laughs> make happen happen, including this yeah. Kickstarter. and. Everyone's knocked out of the park. We're all super excited. <laughs> this whole day has just been everyone looking at each other, going, "What is happening?" Yeah, Rachel what was like, "I woke happening? up at five, <laughs> like a bit of, like a cold sweat." I was like, "Yeah, this morning was the first morning that I woke the baby up." <laughs> 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 I sat up and I was like, "Come on, child, <laughs> it's D Day. Let's go." <laughs> 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 oh. And Steve and Vinny, right? Look at these guys. Oh, yeah. And Zach and Chris. You too, Chris. You I'm too, picking Chris. out the mic. We love you, Lucky. Oh man. Oh Is wait, both with <laughs> and and wow. sound guy Chris. Wow. Chris knew There's I was talking Chris to. And yeah, Christina. Yeah, Christina. Yeah. There's so Christina. many. Did we say Christina? We say Christina? We say I did. Okay. Oh. We'll say it again. Uh, and Brittany. Oh no, we don't talk about her. Okay. There. So many. Twenty-six thousand backers. Guys, what? The... I saw someone mention Mark Hamill. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'd love to have him. Sure. Fuck. Skywalker? Yeah. Have him play Vecna. Let's do that. I guess we don't know. I'd be down with that. That'd be cool. That would be good. Did dope. you just say that shit? I did. Let's put it, put it in the universe, the universe. man. It's the secret. It would be a great Vecna, though. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Alan Tudyk? Yes. Oh, He's incredibly talented. He's Look, yeah, we just we're gonna start throwing out names. We'll probably say yes why to not? all of them. Sure. It's, yes. Yeah, we'll I don't know. This day has taught me. This day has taught me. Sure. Why not? That's 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 the new phrase in my uh, life right now. Sure. Why not? A Joker for Vecna. <laughs> 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 yeah, he gets in there and starts doing the Joker, and we're like, mm. Oh my god, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm seeing a lot of great names in the chat. <laughs> Also, someone mentioned Brendan Lee Mulligan. He's awesome. He's, he's a good yes, friend. Of course, Troy Baker. Awesome. Yes, of course. Oh my God. You got so many people. people. Jordan so Peele. Many. Yeah. Oh, sure. Oh, hey. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, there the he one, the is. Is. only. Guys, hey, why are you just sitting here? We have to raise some money. Guys, we're trying. <laughs> we're trying to hit seven hundred fifty thousand dollars today. <laughs> we only have forty-four days left now. And I don't know if we Sam. can get there, but we're gonna need everyone's. Sam. Yeah. Sam, uh, the, it, we actually hit seven hundred and fifty thousand already. Well, we got stretch goals, guys. Right. If we can get to one Ooh. million dollars, which is 
a crazy number. Yeah. Sam, we know yeah. your uh, we know your plane just landed, literally. I just got off a plane. And you are in the air for a very long time. Guys, I am committing to this bit, but <laughs> that I don't know how much you've raised already. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we actually uh, we actually already hit a million dollars. Is yeah. my bit over, Travis? No, it's still going. I'm pushing. Okay. I'm pushing you to the limit. How long will it go for? <laughs> oh. Hey, pal. Hey, buddy. Glad you just you just it. flew in from. I was in Utah, but then I was delayed. I had to fly through Vegas to get here, mm -hmm. but I'm here and I'm so excited. Yeah. Guys, they like us. They do. Yeah. They really do. Or, or maybe they don't, but they like our characters a lot. There you go. See, that works out fine. <laughs> and the world. This is so exciting, but also terrifying. Have you told them how terrifying this is? Oh, I think yeah. we should bed best. I think, you've, I think you've seen it on our faces since <laughs> we got words here. Without words. Because we have to make it now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, look, we, right. we all look so disheveled. It's on our faces. Yeah. It's been a day. Yeah. I'm going to say, uh, but half half of the money is going to go towards clearing all the pop songs that Scanlon will be singing for his inspiration. Yes. It's going to be really expensive. Scanlon, yes. will, <laughs> Scanlon will sing. I, yep. I, yep. I must have gonna it. going to need some T Swift songs yeah. in there Ooh, for must sure. Have yep. that T, T Swift, T Pain, yeah. all the T's. T I. Tea's unlocked. Ice tea. Ice tea. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, are we answering questions now? Yes. yes. Um, if you see one that holds one still one long enough that you can answer, yeah. Uh, we got through. Um, we got through a lot of the pertinent ones. Um, oh, man, that's, well, that one's too long. Um, <laughs> shit. Shit. Um, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. I really can't. It's too fast. <laughs> Are we looking forward to the Vitae 9 um, versus Mo Vox Machina? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. What, I, is, what even is that? It's a one shot where <laughs> I think I'm, we're going to figure it out. Yeah, I'm, but some, I'm some of us will be Vox Machina and some of us will be Mighty 9, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah I, look, got, I got plans. Oh, a man. lot of these stretch goals. We didn't. We weren't. We didn't know if they were gonna happen. <laughs> we, thought okay. we, had okay. time. we thought we figured it we out. We thought we had time. time. <laughs> we said just. This is this just Mike and I versus Vox Machina. Yeah, and Vinny came true. to me, and he was like, true. "What does that mean?" He's like, "Well, I mean, if it ever gets close to that, then I'll then we'll start talking." It doesn't about. matter. It doesn't uh, matter right now. It doesn't. It so might not ever happen. Uh, uh. Well, so yeah, we're gonna work that out. I'm uh, trying to read one question, no. and all I get are pieces of several of them. So no. something about Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard someone ask about Phil DeFranco. Phil uh, DeFranco shouted yes. this out. Uh, Phil Thanks, DeFranco. Phil. Uh, thank you, Phil. Uh, he, we've been fans of his show for a while, um, and yeah, it was really crazy to be like on it like, for a second time. Yeah. And not because of something horrible or some conspiracy that we've all gotten looped into. Yeah, yeah, we were there for good, for good. We were there for good stuff, that's good. Yeah. Um, I saw, uh, Sam, how are you feeling? That's it? Yep. <laughs> how are you feeling, buddy? <laughs> I'm, I'm overwhelmed. Uh, I'm overwhelmed. I, I've been traveling all day, so that makes me a little loopy. But also, I'm overwhelmed that I, I'm sitting here on this couch with my best buds, Talking about a show that we all get to yeah. make together, and like write and yeah. see it yeah. animated and see and like sit in. An, we're gonna we're gonna all be sitting in an editorial room someday yeah. In, yeah. in in several months, Looking picking at picking which shots go where and oh like God. it's oh. we're fil we're auteurs. Oh it's gonna be great. <laughs> you're gonna do the you're gonna do the hand thing. I do like, this a lot, which yeah. in animation oh. doesn't it really doesn't help sense. at all. Actually, <laughs> in the slightest. Oh man, do I get a monocle? Uh, no, you do get a, a, a lens around your neck. The yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What, what's That's that thing called? That's what, 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 what is it called? Your wife's, wife's a DP. A DP. <laughs> <laughs> what's the finger on your neck oh. called? I just, call, I just called it a monocle. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I meant man, a viewfinder. She, <laughs> she should buy you one as a congratulations. Yeah, that's true. Right? A monocle. Yeah. Yes. A DP and monocle. You apologize to her. <laughs> yep. Photography. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I read uh, Will Scanlon Try to Kill Trinket. I think at this level, oh, God. was Tr Trinket and Scanlon were pretty equal. I don't know if Scanlon could kill Trinket at this point. I, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jay Booker's. Binocular. That's what it's called. Thank you. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Thank you. Uh, Jay Booker wants to know, how do we plan to show and describe D&D &D in an animated platform, i.e., are we going to show crit rolls or crit fails and the whole probability aspects? 
I don't. We don't want to make this like a, a mm -hmm. gamey thing. We want to make it a, a narrative, animated experience. So, um, if you want to see the rolls, um, I guess imagine in your head what got rolled for the for the things that that will be on this. If this goes on for who knows how long, and we get to actually tell stories that might have been on the stream, then you'll get to go back and watch the stream and see what rolls led to the moments in the series. Who knows? Yeah. The sky's the limit at this point. I don't, I don't fucking know. Yeah, luckily there uh, were enough natural crazy. ones that led to some perfect fucking moments for animation. Oh yeah. Some involve so, lava, some involve fire, some acid. involve feet missing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All sorts of shit. Yeah. It's uh, so no, we to, to answer your question, we we're not planning to show die rolls or probability aspect of it. That's it's all but it's all under the hood. But you can probably guess in certain moments, I'm sure. You'd be like, oh, that's probably a crit fail. That's yeah. probably a critical hit. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, let's go another question. Uh, so hard. It's it really hard. hard to see. It's, what you got, Marish? I went through a, a lot that have been if we're lucky to cold. Get there. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. well, then let's just try to slow down it's chat. No, it's, How yeah. cool would it be to see the Kevdak fight? That would be yeah. amazing. Oh, that, I mean, that, that's what we were saying earlier. That's another great moment that would yep. be fantastic to see. Bloopers. Uh, hey, speaking of bloopers, yes. can we just talk for a second about the launch video that we put up on on the Kickstarter? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that I was I was yeah. very proud of our work on that. Yeah, yeah, we haven't really talked about that. Yeah, uh, that was good a lot of work. Me. A lot of the crew here uh, uh, put in a late night to to shoot to shoot a lot of that. Ashley was here for or we filmed some of it, and uh, and it was a lot of fun to put together. It was, I still wear. Those pajamas to bed every you night. Still <laughs> you still have them. I do. I do. Yeah. It's because they smell like us. We also yeah. still have like the, the four yeah, air mattresses. I think we still have all the air mattresses yeah. that was, we used to build the, the we, big bed. Yeah. It was very enjoyable to just like take a night to cuddle. You know, <laughs> as a team. Yeah. Not enough team cuddling. It's a good We've team learned building from this. exercise. Yeah, I think so. I also love just like everything we do. We were trying to figure out some sort of fun, funky way to open the thing, and we needed a joke, and then Max made a joke about it being Travis's nightmare, and then it just went from there, and we yeah. just kept going. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Sounds, that sounds accurate. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's just, scrolling just... backwards for us. I'm not quite sure how this is happening. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. But we oh, actually can great. read things now. Will the main Ooh. villain be a door? Probably. <laughs> Door. But no about, spoilers. What about oh my cast God. commentary? Uh, how, it said, uh, how, how compressed will an episode be versus a, a, a session, like a D&D session? These episodes will all be 22 minutes in length, uh, roughly, roughly, mm -hmm. roughly, which is standard for like a half hour of television. Um, and so it will be very compressed, um, but we'll still, we still would like it to breathe enough to have just character moments, fun interactions between characters, uh, um, conversations, yep. bullshit, um, but we'd also like it punctuated with yeah. hardcore, visceral action and, and stuff. You'll be amazed on the you know, forty minutes for a single combat round condenses down into a really nice six seconds of animation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's staggering. Yeah, it's staggering. Sixty it's frames transitions yeah. very well. The ultimate goal is obviously to make an animated series with seasons where we can tell the story. So. Because we're able to do this ourselves, we're not going to try and cram too much story into into episodes and and leave out moments that we think are really amazing. Um, we're going to move forward bravely, just like you guys have allowed us to do, and tell an original story, and then maybe follow that up with some stuff that everybody wants to see. So yeah. we got we the, got the other cool thing about animation <laughs> yeah. is like. Uh, the part of the reason we wanted to do this in animated form mm -hmm. uh, over live live action is uh, we can show so much more than we could with a live action budget. Like we can see the magic and we can see uh, how it works. We can see, uh, you know, uh, we can zoom in real close on on just a specific detail. We can pull out and see the whole world. We can do sweeping shots all over the place. So we can actually show more of the story than we even can in. When we when we play at the table, because um, we can really zoom in and out, and and animation's amazing. It can it can yeah. really can dazzle so you. Much. Yeah, we get, we get yeah. to show conversations on the antagonist side. Yeah, 
that normally it's all just centered around your guys' sure. experiences. So you get to see, you get to see those little vignettes <laughs> on uh, different perspectives beyond just the uh, yeah. the lead or box like mocking. When, like when we're, we're when we're playing and you and you talk about lore or history or or age, you know, uh, old, old stuff. We could go back and show that shit. We could show you know the divergence oh my God, if, that's... if we wanted to. Ah, what do you think about that? Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you do that? We just got him back to a normal <laughs> operating place. I can and see you... forever. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. We can, show, we can show the universe being made. We can show anything. Yeah. It's animation. That's right. That's right. I saw oh, a question that said, will Larkin be there? That is top secret. We have, yeah. we have to find Larkin first. Yeah. Once we find Larkin, Larkin, then we can decide. Larkin will be in every shot. You just yeah. have to find... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Where's Larkin? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just creeping out from some edge, some yeah. corner, some oh. doorway in each, in each shot. <laughs> I can't. This is... Wow. Will you be able to um, use wizard? What? Matt's going to Sam broke to... Will Scanlan, Scanlan dream sequences be... Set to heavy metal? metal? Set to, yes. <laughs> Everything oh, Scanlan please. does will be set to heavy metal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just like, oh, just all your sequences are animated like, like heavy metal. Like heavy metal. Oh, yeah. 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 That's, that's amazing. Yeah. That's, that's, pretty great. that's kind of a good interpretation of the sure. veil he sees the world sure. through. Totally. Uh, Did we forget, chat? Know the person who's being salty. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> we're, 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 we didn't forget, it's chat. We're just trying to get fast. through it, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we get to see yeah, Taliesin's first character. I think. In the timeline, no, we wouldn't, no. right? No, no. <sighs> He's talked about him before, though. The Dragonborn. What was Talison's for, first character? Technically existed. Uh, Ice breath. And it was like right? it was in one one shot. I yeah. and was. I it, can barely remembers him. Yeah, we've we've gone through that. He froze the about, fountain. It was in the All Work No Play episode really that I've watched awesome. nine hundred times. Correct. I am your biggest fan. I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's creepy. It's, yeah, no, this, this this takes place way after that. I'm so close to you right now. Uh, <laughs> Pop draw season two. Learn to animate. We could save so much money. Oh, oh, shit. oh my god! What are we thinking? All oh, right, everybody. Man. Your homework for your art heart this weekend is to animate scenes uh, one through A, uh, two through B. Uh, oh, uh, amazing. Can Orly been... be the narrator? No. Oh my god, yes! No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Only if I have to hold this the entire time. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> oh, it keeps so moving, it keeps it moving. It's so good. Did Matt. Sam get the role of Grog? No way. This guy. I don't know, you made it to callbacks. Those are, when, when are they? Wednesday? <laughs> <laughs> yep, I've got my, my up-tempo and my ballad ready. I hear ready. the character creators <laughs> real Dick about his selection. So. I saw somebody ask about the the teaser about Pike having white hair, even though they were still fighting that. That was that was a discussion. That was a discussion sure. um, as part of that intro because it'd be that was the moment we felt would really be a good like narrative story beat for that that one minute intro. But we also didn't want to have the strangeness of people who weren't familiar with the story to have like Pike having dark hair in that, and then all of a sudden have light hair on whatever we end up animating. So it was just best to be like it's sort of a. A reimagining yeah. of that sequence in hindsight, I guess yeah. you could say, from their perspective in which they're now used to Pike with white hair. We'll go it's, with that. It's the character's memory of the event. Exactly. Yeah, yes. but no, sure. that was a, that was a definite discussion. Should yeah. she? Oh, sorry, my phone's on. Turn it your phone off, Sam. It's okay. Sorry, you just came from the airport. Oh man. <sighs> Let me see if I have any more good ones. Um, what um is there a point? Will Tarion be the narrator? No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, someone is asking if there will be a physical copy of the an animation or a DVD. I know we're still kind of figuring yes, that out. We're working it out, yeah. We thought we had more time to get you these answers. <sighs> it hasn't been 12 hours yet. <laughs> <laughs> but it is something we are exploring Absolutely. wholeheartedly. Yes. Absolutely. We're, we're, we're yeah. working this all out. We'll have more about physical copies, where you can find it, where it can be seen, all that stuff. Will we get to see Cock Lightning in all of its full glory? Yes, you got a sl little s sneak peek of it yeah. in, in the animation that we yeah. released uh, today. You got yeah. that nice little freeze frame. But seeing it, I envision it in full 360. Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> you know, bullet, around scaling, bullet time. Around yeah. shaft, I mean, uh, just all all of the 360s. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, right? Up the shaft yeah. and around and back. <laughs> what are computers for if not to go around your cock lightning? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will that be all the NPCs? 
No, I answered that earlier. Oh, okay. I will not be all, I, I might be a handful where it seems to fit and make sense, but I definitely am excited to have other, other people populate the world uh, properly. Well, we see the Mighty Nine as two-year-olds in the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God! Wow. Fox Machina babies! <laughs> Fox Machina babies, we make... The... Okay. Hey, that actually worked pretty well Thanks. for... <laughs> For Jim Henson. I loved that show, by the it way. It was I'm great. Saying, Muppet Babies yeah. was Nanny fucking socks. great. Green and yellow. Amazing. Yeah. Will, will Matt be the narrator? Maybe, if it needs a narrator, I figure, I, I, if it needs one, I'm, I could do that. But there could always be a better narrator. Like Corey Burton professional or Sam is strange. <laughs> Wait, what? What was Getting it? professional Sam is strange. Oh, am I, am I professional strange. tonight? Quick, be silly. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I'm a monkey here to amuse you. <laughs> Oh my God! Professional Sam, I'm executive producer Sam today. That's right. Yes, uh, that's, that's correct. That's correct. Mm, mm, uh, we only have what a couple minutes cheaper? left. Oh yes. Okay. So we should probably be uh, wrapping it up here. Right, because we have to get our heads together and figure out what our our new stretch goals will be. To reiterate, we're not we're not done. This uh -huh. thing is not finished. No, we, we still are going to push still on. To go. Yeah. So yeah. There are some people in the world who have have been sleeping for most of this day. Yeah. <laughs> Who are just waking up and seeing this just now. That's 100% true. And a lot of people who will hear about it all on Thursday when That's we right. do when our they show. Watch show. That's yeah. Right. Yeah, because yeah. some people don't, I don't check their webs. Uh, yeah. Yeah, plus, you know, like, you know, the Amazons and the Netflixes and the Hulus and the other peoples that maybe would, you know, yeah. they, they got to catch up on. I mean, yeah. their, their assistants might have heard of it by yeah. now, but they're, tomorrow morning sure. their assistants totally are going to go in and be <laughs> like, um, here's your latte, sir. Oh, by the way, you might want to look at <laughs> this. Uh, it, was, it, was in the, it was on an internet site. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> well, all those... Creepy corporate greed monsters still use fax machines. We so. we would right, still like right. to have your tell interest. It, tell it the fact. way you yeah, yeah. never mind. Yeah. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. man. Conan for narrator. Like that, the barbarian. They mean the barbar the barbarian. Yeah, I thought yes. so too. Just, <laughs> we'll call just Arnold. Raging, <laughs> raging narrator. <laughs> did you know you made NBC News? Nope, did not know that. Yeah, that Wait, was crazy. What do, you, what do you mean? Yeah, we got in, oh, we it's, hit it's, NBC it's, News. Sure. Yeah. That oh, was the crazy. one where they used the thumbnail of us in the bed. Yeah, you know, super, like, like super professional relevant, adults. So. <laughs> that is That's so funny. Amazing. Stretch uh, goal idea: critter created NPC. Oh my god, poor Titmouse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, we have to draw these things, guys. <laughs> Stephen Colbert for narrator. I'd be down for that. Sure. sure. I just, I just want to, I just want to do anything with him, really. Yeah, someone call Stephen Colbert. Um, That's so funny. Let's see. Yeah, Fortune fucking magazine. I know yeah. that's crazy. I can't even. I can't even. I can't even. Like just period. Right, right now. But you know this. You've seen me be unable to even for like an hour now. So. Yeah, that's been the general theme of the day. Is just. <sighs> buh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> buh. Buh. Yep. Oh, so. <laughs> Stretch goal idea: resurrect Max. <laughs> <laughs> We give him a one-up coin in the first yeah, episode, and he just loses it in a crevasse or some shit. <laughs> that's not happening. Yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah that deal is sealed. Um, I did see someone ask if I, if we had seen the new Sonic movie uh, art. Completely unrelated, we have. It looks frightening as fuck. <laughs> Moving on. We uh, promise to do our best to uh, to make Trinket look just as good. <laughs> <laughs> some of us. <laughs> some of us promise. <laughs> Uh, oh man! The animation team for Vox Machina official reference sheets. Oh, like like original designs and stuff. Yeah, those. Yeah, we're gonna be, we're gonna be showing all kinds of uh, yeah. the animation in various stages of progress. It's fascinating, guys. Yeah. We just watching it go from just a, a pencil drawing to a moving animatic to the final colored thing is it's it's a great process, and we hope to bring you that in a little. In a little snippet featurette later. Yeah, we were on. lucky enough to have artists, uh, a very talented artists, take different uh, shots at what all of the Vox Machina characters look like. So there were different iterations that were pitched to us. So some we obviously landed on one, but we'll have all of those things rolling out over you know the next the next many months. It's going to be a really the designs sweet. Designs were so cool. So cool. So, and so, so cool. different. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be great. Yeah. I do like, do like the stretch goal to buy Ashley back from Blindspot. I'm oh, okay with that. Oh yeah. Okay. You think we could? <laughs> Raise enough to buy her out of her contract? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. How about enough to buy NBC? 
<laughs> yes, Could, of course. We'll trade you Ashley for an animated show. <laughs> we happen to have one. Oh my god. Question, we love you. Oh. Are the playlists you created as your characters going to be in the animation? <laughs> oh my god, licensing fees, probably well, not. Oh, no, but we could play them oh. for the animators as they work. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to, to inspire yeah, them or there something. You go. That's part of it. Get them jamming out. Um, there. You, told them, you told the people that a lot, a lot of the animators at Titmouse are huge fans, yes? Dead. It's And that's going to be exciting to like go to Titmouse and, and Sort of sift through the the, the critters and the non critters. Yep. And <laughs> well, one of the requirements for Titmouse now is that they have to go through all of the episodes of Vok Machina in, in order to be able to work on the show. In order to apply for the That's job. That's correct. <laughs> and they have to finish before <laughs> before we yeah. start. We're gonna have a uh, 22 page interview questionnaire. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 And if you get two questions wrong, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many of us can get that shit right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we can do it, we can do it. Danny's in. Yep. <laughs> Danny's in. People are saying uh, Travis Haunted House live stream stretch goal. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Today was so nice. It was so <laughs> nice. Why do you got to dampen it with that shit? Do you want to see a grown man shit his pants? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> All right, maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe, Rachel. Maybe that we'll make that as like the uh, the crazy stretch goal. Yeah, okay. the one that's impossible uh, to reach. <laughs> okay, cool. Just put it at three point six. <laughs> <laughs> oh please don't. Oh man. Uh, I know we're closing up here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Is there any more good? One more good question. Who's oh God, gonna? They're so fast. They're so fast. They, they took you ah, serious. Now it's challenging. Max, slow it down, please. Is that you, Max? Who's over there? Yeah, obviously, stay tuned. In the next few days, Anything. we'll have plenty of new info coming out. We're, we're, uh, we are adapting to fit you guys. It has been an incredible morning, an incredible afternoon, an incredible evening. Uh, it's, it's been a dream for us for years now. I, I can't tell you the number of conversations that we've had just geeking out over the fact that people liked our D&D game, uh, that people like the art that they like, the comic book, that, and now that they are excited to support an animated adventure. It's just yeah. been amazing. Yeah, one of the questions that just whizzed by was, looking back at how this all started, how does this, how does this feel? For me... Mm, that's a good last question. This feel, for me anyway, and I'm please, uh, mm. uh, for me, this feels exactly the same as the first time that I that we played together. Yeah. Because when I sat down to play, I was like, all right, what is this? <laughs> 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 what, what, how, does this how is this going to work? How yeah. is this going to work? And within minutes, I could see everything. I could see I could see the whole story in my mind and and feel what the characters were feeling and hear the music in in my imagination and and it's like going through that all again I mean, with Matt you was guys. Also playing music. I don't think he was the first time, was he? <laughs> yes, he was. Well, yeah. that's what I could, that's what I was hearing. <laughs> I thought I was just having a crazy out of body experience. There's that too. <laughs> but no, it feels yeah. it feels like that. Like 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 Diving into this world for the first time ever, and now we get to do it and show you what we're seeing too. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty fantastic. I'm really excited. This is crazy. Just well, guys, we have uh, 44 more days. We'll <laughs> we'll see what we can what we can manage to do in that. Um, we'll have updates. We'll have more stretch yeah. goals. Hopefully, we'll be able to just keep keep adding on more. Animation until eventually, oh fuck it, why not? Just Let's animate it. it all. I don't Let's know. Do I don't even know anymore. Let's smash I don't, it. I've, I've, it's already yeah. been a record setting day. Let's just keep it going. Why not? I'm super excited for you to announce this on the show for the first time on Thursday. Oh my God. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, that's a good question. Whew. They said, is it Thursday yet? Oh. It's always Thursday. It's always Thursday In somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Critical role land question mark? Just fucking take it easy. Right? <laughs> Y'all thought I was joking. <laughs> One thing at a time. <laughs> uh, the Thursday was the friends who made along the way. Yes. Uh, Thanks to Rachel for everything today. Yeah. Thanks, and be nice to her as these 44 days keep going. Yeah, yes. Ra Rachel's specifically our, our tank on this entire endeavor. And the she's out there, full plate armor, shield, Ultimate sword and board, Oracle. tanking it all Oof. on. So be, be kind to her. Or a lot. Yeah. Turns oh, out. So, man. yeah. 
Uh, but yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. We'll have some new stretch goals real soon when we figure out the, what that all looks like. Um, yeah, just keep, keep being as excited as we are about it. More to come, yeah. we'll keep making it grow. Uh, wow, we, um, <laughs> we love you very much. Thank you guys for everything, and I'm um, excited to see what all we get to build together. Genuinely. Yeah. This is incredible. We love you all. Bye, guys. Good day. <laughs> Good day. See you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see what tomorrow. happens tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. All right. Uh, Bye, all. guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> the adventure begins. They will always beside you. You'll know. And the DM to guide you And they rise from the flames for the best